Apparently, there is another vocal tuning plugin out there that I did not know about. So now I'm wondering, how many more do I not know about? What's up guys, it's Eli from EliMusicGroup.com. Be sure to check out the website for any and all of your music needs. So, Crispy Tuner, Plugin Alliance. This plugin was brought to my attention by one of my subscribers asking for my opinions on it. And I got to admit that I did not know about the existence of this plugin until it was brought up to my attention. Shout out to Dila O'Neill or Dila O'Neill. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Thank you for bringing that plugin to my attention. So right off the bat, I had to jump into the Plugin Alliance website to download this plugin and see what it was about. Initially, my plans were to test it out and run it through a couple of mixes and see how it holds up. Five minutes after opening it, I had to turn on the camera and get going with this video because color me impressed, but I think this plugin has a lot of potential. So instead of doing the testing that I had initially planned to do with this plugin, I decided to make this quick video to go over some overviews about it and also point out my favorite feature about it so far. And after that, I'm gonna continue doing the testing on it. And then before my 14 day trial is over, I may do an update video about it to let you guys know exactly what I think about it. But right now let's do an overview about it and see what the layout is like. Before we jump into this overview, be sure to drop a like and comment down below to show your support to this channel. And if you're new, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification for more videos like this. Now let's take a look at Crispy Tuner. When you first open Crispy Tuner, you're gonna be greeted with what they call the sample page. I got to give it up to Plugin Alliance. Crispy Tuner is an amazing name for what looks like it could be an amazing plugin. Let's get on with the overview. So when you first open up Crispy Tuner, you are greeted with the sample page. Pretty self-explanatory. On the left, you have your root and scale selector. And on the right, you have your tuning strength. I'm assuming the tuning is gonna act more like your retune speed. And at the bottom, we have the global tuning information. We have the tuning frequency at 440 Hertz, normal like every other tuning plugins. We have a detune button. That should be interesting. We have a low cut at 20 hertz and a high cut at 20 kilohertz. And after that, we have the advanced page for when you need a little bit more control over your tuning. And now it's starting to look more like your typical vocal tuning plugin. We have transition, tightness, and correction. Nothing really new here. It's just the naming scheme that Plugin Alliance decided to go with. But all these naps should be familiar to you if you've used any other vocal tuning plugins. Bringing us to what would be my favorite part about this plugin so far, graphical mode. Quick note, Antares Autotune does have graphical mode and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I just think it's not as user-friendly as it should be, which is why every time I need to have 100% control over the tuning of a vocal, I will always grab Melodyne. But looking at this plugin so far, the graphical mode looks very simple to use. I think it may have the potential to give Melodyne a run for its money, but none of that matters right now because I have not had the chance to test it out. So I will be sure to test it out to see exactly how it holds up against Melodyne. But at first glance, it looks very simple to use. What I love about Melodyne is the ability to just grab a note and move it up and down as you need. And it looks like you can do the same thing here too. And looking to the right of it, it looks like these are controls for the tuning which would make it that much easier to use. So I will be sure to test that out to see exactly how it holds up. So this has been my impression so far with Crispy Tuner, but no video would be completed without a little sample to see what it actually sounds like because the way it looks and everything like that is all good and well, but none of that matters as much as what it actually sounds like. So let's go ahead and take a quick listen to it and see what we're working with. Uh, 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 now what you gonna do when I come for you? Ain't nothing gonna stop me, my flag red and blue. Do. Yeah. Do. Yo. Blue. Do. Yeah. Do. Now come for you. Ain't nothing gonna stop me, my flag red and blue. You know how we do. Uh, 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 uh. Do. Yo, blow, do, yeah, 
All right, and that is it for the video. What did you guys think of that little sample? Comment down below and let me know. Thank you guys for watching the video and sticking out all the way till the end. Now, don't forget to drop a like and comment down below to show your support to this channel. And if you're new, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification for more videos like this. I'll see you guys next time in the next video.